Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the Lens Flare layer setting and how you can quickly customize it. Lens Flare is a new feature in iClone 8 which you can use to add an extra bit of visual accent to your scene. If you're not familiar at all with Lens Flare, it's also briefly covered in our Getting Started tutorial. Lens Flares can be found under the Stage tab of your Content Manager, and also in the Smart Gallery. For now, we'll just quickly apply a quick flare from the Outdoor section to start. You can move it around your scene like a normal prop, and you'll find the main adjustment parameters in the Material tab of your Modify panel. Scale and Brightness are going to be your main parameters under Global Settings, and you'll also be able to define the offset here as well. Offset will determine the distance of the actual flare from the flare dummy. Finally, you can also choose the color of the flare by clicking the color swatch and adjusting from there. Lens flares in iClone 8 consist of a number of different layers as you can see in the layer list, which allow us to have more control over the individual details. There are four types of elements here, light source, reflection, decoration, and dust. You can assign each layer as one of these elements, which we'll explore in a moment. This star 601 layer is defined as a light source and has some unique parameters below. For light source and decoration element types, you can tweak the distance, scale, and brightness options. You can also offset the rotation and even open up the adjust color panel for more detailed adjustments. This round blur 01 layer is defined as a reflection and has a few more parameters. Number of objects defines the reflection objects in your flare, and you can use random C to define the position. You can then use spread random min and max to determine the range. This raindrops layer is defined as a dust element. With dust, you can tweak the dust size parameter in order to adjust the visible range of the dust. You can also change the layer image as well by double clicking the texture image. For elements like the reflection or decoration, you can combine colorful images in combination to create a rainbow like effect. Once you're satisfied with the effect combination that you have, you can combine it with an IBL to enhance the effect and then save it to your Smart Gallery for later use. Simply select it from the Scene Manager and then proceed to head over to the Smart Gallery and click the Save button at the bottom. Smart Gallery will automatically assign the correct category, so just choose a name that suits your flare and click OK. The default target location will be the custom folder. Once you have it saved, then you can simply reapply it to your scene and tweak it further if you like. In the next Lens Flare tutorial, we'll talk about how you can adjust the camera and environment to interact with your lens flare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.